Legaspi Schmidt, Cebu City. Lou Dominique Bixon, Cebu Province. Jean-Nichi Arsena, Davao del Norte. Jedida Hefervis Corinihana, Davao del Sur. Jewel Alexandria Palakat, Ilocosur. Dorothy Marie Pastorero Himayan. Ilo Ilo City Vanessa Caro, Ilo Ilo Province Sonia Jane Tanyag, Laguna Lapu Lapu Everybody just, just comes around Show them what 
are all about You give us is your tonight Cameras on the boulevard Flashing like the rock stars It doesn't matter then fall Whatever you can think about We can dance and we go with slow day We grab your hand and we slow with fun day If you wait too fast and we get your potion Get into a new horizon I'm back for rise You caught my eye Just like a daydream You hold the universe I'm back for rise You caught my eye Just like a daydream You hold the universe You hold the universe You hold the universe Isabel Christine Braza, Las Piñas. Antony Cordero Habor, Lucena. Michelle Marquez D. Makad. Isabel de la Luce, Mandawe. Donald, the Samis Oriental. Marilyn, Katipunan Iligan, Negros Oriental. Jillian, Catherine, Miguel de Mesa, Nueva Vizcaya. Angelica Lopez, Palau. Alyssa Georgia Felix, Pampanga. Ivory Bourbon, Panga Sinan. Celeste Rabimbi Cortesi, Pasai. Grace Al Nicole Destura, Quezon Province. Francesca Alexine Ligante de Tuvas. Raja City. Danielle Ariel Cam Cam, San Juan. Maria Catrina Legato, Tagui. Shailen Bison, Victoria City.
Please welcome your hosts, Iris Mitanar, Demi Lee Thibault, and Pia Wurzbach. Bonjour, Philippines! Goeie dag, Filipijnen! Mabuhay, Filipinas! Tonight, we will be crowning a new Miss Universe Philippines. Who among these beautiful Filipinas will reign supreme and take over the queendom? All I can say is that they look so gorgeous in their outfit from Glamouru by Cavasso. I can't wait to see more of them. This is Miss Universe, Universe Philippines 2022. the Miss Universe Philippines 2022, The Coronation. Hello, Demi and Iris, and welcome back to the Philippines. Thank you. Thank you, Pia. It's so nice to be back here. Five years ago, in this exact venue, you passed on your crown and title to me. Philippines will forever have a special place in my heart. Thank you. What a special moment. Hello, Philippines. I was able to visit here just a few years ago and it is so good to be back. I can definitely feel the love and the warmth of the Filipinos, so thank you for having me. So if Pia passed on her crown to Iris, Iris passed her crown to me, 
I pass my crown to another Filipina, Catriona Gray. Yes, Universe Unite! I'm just so happy to be sharing the same stage with my Miss Universe sisters. And we will be welcoming the new Miss Universe Philippines together with our very energetic live audience tonight in the Mall of Asia Arena. Imagine, after two long years, we're finally having this coronation. Universe, you deserve this. I've checked some of the videos of our candidates and I'm impressed with all their performances and how they took on the different challenges. So, from top 31, only 16 finalists will then proceed and compete in the swimsuits and evening gown competitions. To everyone who's wondering why we only have 31 w ladies with us tonight, Miss Benguet Chantel Cruz is under the weather and had to exit the competition. But Chantel, please get well soon. We wish you all the best in your future endeavors from 31 to 16. Only 10 will advance to the next round. And then they will go through the casual interviews. Only half of uh, the 10 will make it to this year's final five. And the final five will have to answer during our final Q&A. From the five, only one will be crowned the new Miss Universe Philippines. So, is everybody ready? Yeah. <laughs> but before that, we have to acknowledge the Miss Universe organization for making my reunion with Demi and Iris possible. Thank you so much, MUO. And here are the Miss Universe Philippines advisors and council. Jackie C. Aquino, events and fashion show director and president of JCA Productions. Joey Gilas, TV anchor and Resorts World Manila Corporate Communications Director. We have Robbie Carmona, Events and Fashion Show Director and Founder of Saga Events. Attorney P.Y. Kaunan, Legal Counsel of MUPH and Empire PH. Mafai Yunan, Belasco Beauty Queen, Entrepreneur and Creators Academy Head for Kumu. <laughs> Attorney Margarita N. Gutierrez, Lawyer, Columnist and Vice President for Professional Models Association of the Philippines. Now let's meet the Miss Universe Philippines Board of Directors. Jonas Gafud, Creative Director. Albert Andrada, Style Council Head and Fashion Designer. <laughs> Attorney Nat Bronze, Head of Legal Affairs. Voltaire Tayog, Director of Communications. Mario Garcia, Business Development and Marketing Head. And Shamsi Supsupli, National Director and Entrepreneur. We will be forever grateful for bringing us here together. We would also like to acknowledge the presence of Miss Universe 1973, the ever glamorous Miss Margarita Moran. Now, let me turn over to the Kumu Lounge together with our equally uniquely beautiful correspondents. Bianca Guidotti and Carla Lizardo, together with our Kumu Coronation Night co-host campaign winner, Ayin Bernos. Hello, ladies. I heard that you guys have a special surprise for us. That's right. Thank you so much, Pia, Demi, and it is Hello, Universe. Hello, Ayin. Hello, Bianca. Hello. Hello, 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 ladies. We are here now at the Kumu Lounge, as you can see. And if you're posting on social media, please use our official hashtag. Hashtag MUPH2022, the coronation. Hello, Kumuniverse. Can I just say that I am so blessed. I feel so grateful that I get to be here with you, Queens, and of course, three Miss Universes as a fan. And this is all thanks to Kumu because they let me try out, they let me win and really persevere for this position. And now I'm here with you. 
crazy. <laughs> you are more than deserving of this opportunity. And of course, we are so, so honored to be here tonight. And we can't wait for all of the girls to go out there and compete in every round. And to everyone tuned in right now, we do have a special surprise for all of you. For the third consecutive year, Lazada once again partners with MUPH as its official voting platform for the upcoming Miss Universe Philippines 2022 pageant. The country's leading e-commerce lifestyle destination will give pageant fans a way to help their favorites make it through to the top 16. So not only does Lazada make e-shopping a habit for many Filipinos, they also keep the dreams of these uniquely beautiful delegates alive through online voting. And we take fan engagement to the next level. This year, through the Lazada voting channel, the Miss Universe Philippines delegate who garners the highest votes will secure a spot in the top 16. So fans, listen up. You can enjoy five free votes that you can cast for your favorite delegate. Once you've used up all of your free votes, don't worry, you can actually keep on voting to your heart's desire if you purchase the voting packages. So go to your Lazada app now, go to feed, and look for the Miss Universe Philippines tab. Right now, we would like to thank our brand partners and sponsors. Front Row, Cream Silk, Coins.ph, Lazada, and Philippine Airlines as well as Bello, Jewelmer, TikTok, Modest, and PLDT. Thank you, thank you so, so much. And if you have another gadget, join us here on the Kumu Lounge. We will be reading all of your comments, just like here, Ayan, we have Tinky Donnie, Ayan, we have a lot of people here. Hi also to Sir Roland, Mark, and Faye. Thank you so much for joining us here on the Kumu Lounge. Thank you, everyone. Keep on commenting your favorite <gasps> candidates who will be taking home the crown tonight. Just let us know in the Kumu chat section. Yeah, and yes. we have um, Oren, uh, Cagayan Valley Dao. Yes. We have <laughs> of course, we have Pasay. Everyone's talking about Panga Pasay and Pangasinan. So, see you again later at the Kumu Lounge. Bye, guys. <laughs>
to celebrate and embrace their ultimate best. Despite the continuing setbacks and challenges brought by our current global situation, these ladies proved themselves and came out even stronger as they bravely welcomed opportunities for themselves to evolve and grow. That is right, Demi. But tonight's challenge is not only among the candidates, but also on the judges, as they look beyond faces and walks, but instead dig deeper and listen closely to their voices. Let's now meet our esteemed panel of judges. Our first judge is a US-based attorney, partner of the firm Nordstrom, Steel, Nicolette and Blythe, a philanthropist, community leader and speaker, Mr. Francis Padua Papica. She is the Chief Operating Officer and a member of the Board of Directors of our World Class Hotel at the heart of the Bulabok Beach Aqua Barakai Hotel and Resort, Miss Tony Kosi. Let's welcome to the panel of judges, the Vice President of the Professional Models Association of the Philippines and 2019 awardee of the 100 Most Influential Filipina Women in the World, Attorney Margarita Gutierrez. Also part of the panel of judges is the Vice President of LCS Group of Companies and notable in the pageant industry with her leadership in the 65th Miss Universe when the Philippines successfully hosted the international competition. Miss Richelle Singson Michael. She is an advocate of menstrual equity and the most beautiful woman in the universe. Miss Universe 2021, our sister with Mama Esther, Harnaz Sandu. Joining the panel of judges is a licensed civil engineer turned business mogul and philanthropist, one of 2022's Rising Tigers Nation builders current president of Maserati Philippines and executive director at Ferrari Philippines. Let's all welcome the CEO of Front Row International, Mr. Sam Verzoza. Our next judge is a former Miss Universe Philippines title holder and bagged the Miss Photogenic Award in the Miss Universe 2006. She is now the CEO of Glamour Box and a mom of two girls. Miss Leah Andrea Moss. Hailed as Guillermo Mendoza Memorial Foundation Awards celebrity entrepreneur, a multi award philanthropist, an actor, esteemed producer, and the president of Front Row International. Put it together for Mr. R.S. Francisco. Let's meet our next judge. A doctor, expert on the field of pediatric health and nutrition, Dr. Jennifer Olay. An international model, and he has been around the fashion capitals of the world, New York, Paris, Milan, and is now based in Berlin. A doctor of veterinary medicine, Spanish model, Joshua Sorrentino. And completing the panel of judges, you are the 11th Judge Universe. Fans can now vote for your favorite Miss Universe Philippines 2022 finalists and help increase their chances of moving to the top 10, top 5, and the final part of the competition. Download the Lazada app now and get ready to vote for your favorite finalists during the swimsuit, evening gown, interviews, and the final look portions at home or right here in the arena. Being a judge for the finals, Nasa Lazada Yan. Did I get that right? From hundreds of online applicants, only 31 uniquely beautiful ladies made it to the cut. And of course, the last uniquely beautiful woman standing will be the next Miss Universe Philippines who will represent our country in the upcoming Miss Universe pageant. 
But right now, let's award the Miss Friendship first. She is the candidate that captured the hearts of her fellow candidates and was able to bring fun and light and love to everyone in the competition. Miss Friendship is... Ilocosur! Are you ready for our next special award? It's Miss Photogenic. She is the candidate that registers well on camera and exudes physical attractiveness in photographs. Our Miss Photogenic is... Basai! Our last special award is Best in National Costume. This year's theme showcased hobby or weaving that, cel that celebrated Filipino creativity and artistry. And the best in national costume goes to... Albay! Congratulations, ladies. Now get ready as we narrow down your favorites and choices because we shall now announce the names of our top 16. Our top 16 was decided by our judges during the preliminary competition together with the Miss Universe Philippines organization. The official results are now in, tabulated and verified by our official accounting firm, SGV and Company. In no particular order. It's a long list. You are advancing to the top 16 with the highest votes in the Lazada voting page from April 25, 12.01 a.m. until April 29, 11.59 p.m. It's you, Nueva Vizcaya! Take your spot. Tagig! You still have a shot for the crown. Cebu City! Let's make way for... Aklan! This is your moment! Makati!
Anticipation is killing me. Five down, 11 more to go. You are a part of the top 16. Albay! Seven is your lucky number. You are a step closer to the crown. Ilo Ilo Province! Cheer up because you are in... Your city! It is your turn to celebrate. Cebu Province! Six more spots left. Come join the fun. Misamis Oriental. Would you come on over and join the club? Sur. Only three more spots remain to be filled in. One of them belongs to... Laguna! You prayed for this, and now it's been answered. Pasay City! Wrapping up the top 16, she is none other than Ilo City! Well done, ladies! The future Miss Universe Philippines 2022 Queens will come from these gorgeous ladies in front of you. Congratulations to our top 16. And now the Lazada voting line is officially open for this round and vote through the swimsuit evening gown rounds to help your favorite candidate make it to the top 10. Let's now check in what's happening backstage at the Kumu Lounge with correspondents Bianca, Carla and Ayin. Hi girls! Hi! 
thank you, Demi and Pio. We are here at the Kumu Lounge. The excitement and the tension are getting high every minute. Congratulations to our top 16 and to our special awardees. To the girls who did not make it, we are equally proud of you for showing how uniquely beautiful you are. I'm so, so very happy to witness how these ladies redefined what a beauty pageant is all about. So if you want to share on social media, again, use the hashtag MUPH2022, the coronation night. The girls are <laughs> going We're crazy. really feeling the energy here at the Mall of Asia Arena. And we are just starting the show and we can definitely feel the overwhelming potential of these candidates. But of course, it's that time again to thank our brand partners and sponsors. <laughs> I want to start off with BYS, The Medical City, Kumu, of course, MG Cars, Jojo Bergais. And we also want to thank Resorts World Manila, Hilton Manila, Holiday Inn, Okada Manila, Cavaso, thank you, thank you so much to all of you. Ladies, being a Miss Universe Philippines queen is not just about beauty and good looks, but really it's about how they serve as stewards of the country to bring change to the world. I completely agree, and the fate of your candidates lies in your hands. Let your voices be heard tonight and vote for your favorite candidates. The voting line is now open, and go ahead and help your favorite candidate reach the top 10. All you have to do is vote through the Lazada voting app or scan the QR code on your screens right now. So you can enjoy five free votes as a first-time voter in the app and so that you can cast for your favorite delegates. Kumuniverse, gather your friends and watch the coronation with us on Kumu. This is going to be an exciting Kumu app uh, watch party. So download the Kumu app now and follow Miss Universe Philippines on the app. Drop your reactions, thoughts, and predictions, and we are going to read your comments live on Kumu. Again, hashtag MEPH Weekend Party. Let's check out some of the comments here. We have uh, C Mizel Q. Hello, Mizel Q. Hello, Hi. and continue cheering for your favorite candidates. We are reading all of your comments on our Kumu chat, and we are enjoying hanging out with all of you. Dara Hi. is talking about, of course, her bed, Pasay City. Hi, and up next, the man who is slaying the stage most confidently and will set the MOA Arena on fire. The swimwear competition coming right up. This is Miss Universe Philippines 2022, The Coronation. My journey here with Miss Universe Philippines stripped everything from my external layers up into my emotions and everything that I thought myself to be. I realized that beauty comes from the rawness of the moments that you have with yourself and being vulnerable, being able to connect with the organization, the people that we try to serve on a daily basis, has not only allowed me to become a truer version of myself, but it showed me that I'm uniquely beautiful just by being who I truly am. I've definitely become a more uniquely beautiful self because of this uniquely beautiful experience. This is a once in a lifetime experience and I believe this is something I'm never going to exactly experience ever again. I've grown so much as a person and I feel that the one person that has been most surprised is myself from the online challenges to the poses that I never thought I could pull off and to the heights that I have taken. Comparing myself now and myself before the competition, the growth has been huge and I almost barely could recognize myself. And I praise God for that growth, for changing me in a positive way because Miss Universe Philippines definitely taught me in a lot of ways in socialization, in how to become stronger and to persevere in every aspect of the competition. Now I'm able to maintain a positive attitude and remain professional. And that's because I've grown to be a courageous and a phenomenal woman. 
Okay, so this is the first pageant that I've ever joined in my whole entire life. So this was a very interesting experience. It was like entering a whole new world, but I'm not gonna lie, I've had so much fun like going through all the motions and I'm really enjoying myself. This journey has really made me stronger, not just in terms of my physique, but also in terms of my mental and emotional strength. And I'm so happy and it's so humbling to know that there are people who message me telling me that they are inspired by my transformation, that they're inspired by my journey, my advocacies. And it's, it's so nice to know that other people who are inspired by me inspire me back. I'm so proud of where I am now because I've really grown so much and I really didn't expect this much growth from my Miss Universe Philippines journey. I'd say I've transformed into someone who's more confident, someone who is more driven by her convictions and it's been challenging but you know what they say, no pressure, no diamonds. In this competition, I conquered my fears. And I think that is what really matters. The Dottie that first entered this competition is far different from the woman that you're seeing right now. And it's all thanks to the lessons that I gained here in Miss Universe Philippines. Because of that, I was able to be more vulnerable, more real, more me. And I will carry that with me for the rest of my life. Time made you phenomenal. You are golden. You are a national gem. You are uniquely beautiful. are women and we are beautiful more than what meets the eye our beauty is defined by who we are and all that we are capable of though different in our own ways the unique power of every woman makes the universe whole and when reinforced with added strength and immunity takes effect into a marvelous ripple don't let anything stop you from being the queen that you're meant to be. Shine up front, beautifully, and, and be lost in power. It's closer than it's ever been, and now it's more than just a win. It's where your life begins. Lux Slim and Lux Immune Plus by Front Row.
Bonjour, bonjour, Mabuhay, Philippines! The celebration of the uniqueness of being a woman continues here at Miss Universe Philippines 2022. Keep the dreams of these uniquely beautiful delegates alive by casting your votes right now through the Lazada app. And now, get ready for the much-anticipated segment in the show, the swimsuit competition. Time to show the universe the strength and the beauty of a Filipina. Together with Yin and Yuki and Sam Conception, here are your Miss Universe Philippines candidates in their swimsuits, ready to walk and win with Bragais. with Nueva Vizcaya. Even though she doesn't know how to swim and has asthma, she explored scuba diving, beaches, and falls. She loves the water, but she's on fire. Nueva Vizcaya. Tagig. She plays volleyball as a middle spiker. She also loves hiking and has already climbed eight mountains to date. You'll make it big. The gig. Cebu City. She writes short stories about her mental health journey to make psychological health care more accessible. Such an inspiring beauty. Cebu City. Aklan. She organized a fundraising activity for an elderly couple's house construction in a remote area in her town. Such a selfless woman. Aklan. Makati. She's an award-winning actress who also loves extreme sports. A certified water baby. You definitely know how to do it, Makati. Albay. She started her small business at the age of 12, selling candies to her peers and she landed her first corporate job at the age of 16. We will definitely buy Albay. Palawan. This psychology student loves watching true crime documentaries. She supported her own studies since she lost her mom three years ago. A very strong woman, Palawan. Iloilo Province. She received her master's degree in public relations in New York. And at the same time, she's also a marathoner. Celebrate your wins, Iloilo Province. Malali manat malayo ang karagatan Tawirin ang magsilayan ka Ang matayog na buwan ay iyong asahan Aking susungkitin ko ang iyong kailangan Hala kang alaya ng mga tula Na aking tapos ay iyong mga mata Wala nang ibang alilangan 
Ikaw ang aking kasagutan Talagang pinaghirapan ka ng may likha Isa ka ng hela bumaba dito sa lupa Sa ating na mirami na Ito'y natatanaw O katangit-tangit kang Nagdiningning sa iyong galaw Dalisa, o Dalisa Na lagi kang tunay O Dalisa, o Dalisa Ligaya ng buhay Sa'yo lang lagi Araw ay namamangha Sa talang liwana mo Dalisa, o Dalisa Na lagi kang tunay O Dalisa Bagyo! This proud Igorota, who's also the first from her tribe to join a national pageant, is a lover of the arts. She paints to keep her centered. Your art makes you glow. Baguio! Cebu Province. She used to drive around town riding her dad's motorcycle, channeling her favorite singer, Taylor Swift. Show us how you ride Cebu Province. Miss Samis Oriental. At age 21, she's a host of a radio program that aims to raise the youth's socio-political awareness. You're truly special, Miss Samis Oriental. Bohol. She created a marine-themed coloring book for kids during the pandemic. She's also a sweets lover and a free diver. You're unstoppable. Bohol! Ilocos Sur! This half Filipina, half Scottish, part time college instructor loves motorcycle riding, especially off road trails. Take us on a tour. Ilocos Sur! Laguna! She used to be a banquet server and can carry 10 serving plates on a tray. But now her dream job is to be a flight attendant. Loving that aura, Laguna. Pasay. This child of the sea loves spending time on the beach with her fur babies, as she's a fan of beautiful and scenic sunsets. Like her, she's a beauty you can't deny. Pasay. Ilo Ilo City. She is diagnosed with agoraphobia, which is fear of wide spaces. But that won't stop her from rocking the runway. Give us that walk. Ilo Ilo City!
Once again, together with Yin and Yuki and Sam Conception, your Miss Universe Philippines 2022 candidates in their swimsuit. They look uniquely beautiful in their swimsuit from Caution by Cavasso. Pia and Demi, watching the swimsuit competition, what memories do you remember back in your pageant days? Oh, well, <laughs> there's a lot of memories. Also a lot of hairspray, let me tell oh, you. Summer yeah. is coming up, number one pageant tip, guys. Hairspray, keep those swimsuits in place. That's actually a pageant trick that I haven't done before, but Google it, guys. What do you do with the hairspray aside from using it for your hair? And now we shall reveal the most uniquely beautiful candidate who really stood out from the rest in their swimsuit. The Miss Universe Philippines 2022 Best in Swimsuit is... Now let's check out the latest happening at the Kumu Lounge. Hello ladies. Hello and welcome back here at the Kumu Lounge. Wow, all of our top 16 look so stunning in their swimsuits. So congratulations of course to Miss Pasay who bagged her best in swimsuit award. Very, very deserving, right? Let us know in the comments what you think, girls. And I must say that all our top 16 look super confident and super amazing. I absolutely agree. I love them all, guys. I was just fangirling here. Carla, I'm sure just like me, you're also secretly imagining yourself on a hot summer day on the beach wearing one of those beautiful creations, no? Most definitely. I definitely am. Like, while you were saying it, I was just imagining it. <laughs> and um, I know you, our viewers, also have your favorites after seeing our uniquely beautiful ladies in their swimsuits just a while ago. So make sure to support your favorites among the top 16 candidates by voting through Lazada. And as they're changing, right now allow us to thank our brand partners and our sponsors. Starting with Havana, Smile, Biaheng Busog, Entresol, and Options. We have NYX Institute of Beauty, Culture Salon Manila, Cad Clinic, Danielita's Home Kitchen, Malaya's Coffee. Thank you, thank you so, so much. Thank you. The fate of one of our candidates is in your hands. So let's keep on voting. Can we check some of the comments from our Comunizens? All right, Ayan. Congratulations again, Pasay. From Ayan, we have one from Marielle, Team Bohol All the Way Dao. From Cassandra, grabe yung power ng top 16. I can definitely yes. agree. Grabe sila. We have Irish who goes, Miss Thomas Oriental. Ayan, we, we have so many. Grabe kayo, guys. 97,000 viewers are watching us on Kumu right now. And ayan, we have Lavendi for Sabi niya Albay. And so many people are saying, Pass, I definitely deserve that. So congratulations once again to our best in swimsuit, Miss Pasay. We have a supporter enough. Please comment pa kayo. We will read your comments live. Can you imagine yeah. here at the Miss Universe Philippines 2022 coronation? And Amazing. so many exciting things have happened, right? And there is a lot more to come. Exactly. Up next, let me turn you over to Pia back on the main stage as we look back to the journey of our Miss Universe Philippines 2021. Last year, we all saw how a strong and determined Cebuana represented the Philippines in the Miss Universe stage. A lot of us identified ourselves with her brave personality on how she battled discrimination at an early age for being open about her sexuality, on how she fought for her space in the industry as a woman with an unusual background in the military. She won the hearts of the pageant fans all over the world with her quiet yet powerful force that continuously breaks barriers up to this day. 
let's take a look back at the beautiful journey of our reigning Miss Universe Philippines, Beatrice Luigi Gomez. This moment, talaga, hindi ko maalala kung ano yung naramdaman ko that exact moment. Pero I just really remembered na tinawag kami ng top five. Pumunta kami sa backstage and sobrang saya ko na nun kasi I joined Miss Universe Philippines with the mindset na kahit hindi ako mananalo, I will still go home na sobrang saya kasi it's the experience for me yung nagdala sa akin ng magandang memories talaga other than winning the crown. But... Hindi siya nagsinke nagate. I remembered. Nagising ako the next morning, and then. Hindi ako makapaniwala. Akala ko panaginip lang lahat. And then I stood up from my bed, and I saw the crown and the sash was there on my bedside table. And napabuntong hininga ako, and I cried. Because when I was crowned. I was just smiling the whole time na akala ng mga tao, alam niyo ba na nanalo siya? Parang at that moment, nag, nagpa-process pa lang siya, nag-loading, and it took a while talaga. It took overnight for me to realize na ako yung panalo. So that's what it was like for me. Of course, I felt the pressure coming from a country which is a powerhouse in pageantry. Talagang sobra yung pressure ko, especially that in the in the past years, in the recent years, uh, we were able to bring home the Miss Universe crown. But other than the pressure, alam ko na makakaya ko yung pagrepresent ng Philippines sa Israel because I have the entire team of Miss Universe Philippines helping me prepare in that competition. I only had two months to prepare since I won the Miss Universe Philippines competition. And grabe yung paghihirap namin, not only me, but also the entire team of Miss Universe Philippines. Ayoko na masayang yung mga pinaghirapan namin. Winning and making it to the top five was not just an achievement for me, but also an achievement for my entire team and the entire Philippines as well. Last. In the final five is Philippines! I guess one of the biggest milestones that I achieved throughout the competition is being able to pave the way for the LGBTQIA plus community and also for the young women and children who are looking up to me. Na I made them believe in themselves by looking at me and what I've achieved na maniniwala sila sa sarili nila that whoever you are, whatever it is that you stand for, kaya mong mag-stand out in whatever field as long as you believe in yourself. One important lesson that I may impart in this year's batch of Uniquely Beautiful Filipinas is that there will be times that your beliefs will be easily shaken, especially with the noise around you. But it's very important that you Go back to your core and remember your purpose for joining this specific um, platform. And lastly, I want to be remembered as someone who advocates for the uniqueness and beauty of every woman, every Filipina. Beatrice Luigi Gomez, your Miss Universe Philippines 2021.
Miss Universe Philippines 2021, Beatrice Luigi Gomez. It is mesmerizing to see you walk again on stage, on the Miss Universe Philippines stage. How do you feel right now? I know I had a different answer way back the rehearsals earlier, but right before the show started, I have only been trying to hold back my tears the whole time. I felt better um, after the swimsuit competition, but then I saw the video and I just couldn't help myself, but I cry <laughs> just right before going out and doing my walk again. Of course, so many memories, so many great moments. How could that not make you emotional? Today is your last day as Miss Universe Philippines. What do you want to do right after you hand over your crown? I will still definitely continue my community work. But other than that, I will pursue my other dreams. I would like to continue and go back to school, get my master's and take up social psychology. And hopefully after that, I will be able to build a career in hosting thanks to my family in Empire, Miss Universe Philippines and Mercator as well. And Bea, I was one of the judges when you competed in Miss Universe 2021. Tell us more about your activities as Miss Universe Philippines. What's the most unforgettable for you? There's actually a lot, but one of the most memorable um, experiences that I had was going to Israel. It was the moment when I had to recollect all of the trainings, all of the um, lessons that I've learned after winning Miss Universe Philippines. And you know, with the pandemic, it's been quite a while that I haven't been able to travel um, outside the country and being able to experience that in Israel and meeting my sisters, Nandita, who's here in the audience, I see you, and Harnaz as well. Um, gaining a lot of friends from different parts of the world is definitely one of the most uh, memorable experience for me. Bea, how did winning Miss Universe Philippines change you? Thank you. Um. Bea? How did, how did winning Miss Universe Philippines change you? It changed me a whole lot. I used to be a scared little girl who was always scared to go out of my comfort zone. But then I, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, I was able to get out of my shell and face my fears and I'm so glad that I was able to do it because there's just so much um, greater things behind that fear and I'm so glad I was able to get past that. And we are all so proud of you, Bea. Thank you. Bea, Thank you so much. to summarize your journey, and this can be a little bit challenging, how can you describe your reign as Miss Universe Philippines in three words? It definitely has been a fruitful, humbling and memorable experience. Being able to stand here in the stage together with all of you, I already feel like I've won the Miss Universe crown myself. <laughs> oh, Bea, that's so cute. Do you have <laughs> any you. message to all your Miss Universe Philippines sisters, fans, supporters, family, and to the Miss Universe Philippine organization? I'm so grateful to each and every one of you who have been in my journey my Miss Universe Philippines organization, family, Aces and Queens, Bea Bees, um, everyone who supported me in this journey, all of the pageant fans, thank you so much to all of your support and for believing in me. I wouldn't have been able to do all of this without your help. Thank you so much. And Bea, one more question from me. After you turn over your crown, what is next for Bea? Well, I already mentioned a few earlier, but I am just so excited to welcome my co-worker in continuing the advocacy that Miss Universe Philippines is promoting, and one of which is um, menstruation equity, which is also uh, promoted by my very good friend, Harnas, and also the rights of children. And definitely, I will be working with 
Miss Universe Philippines organization still. Uh, I will still be with them for the next couple of months. Once again, your Miss Universe Philippines 2021, Beatrice Luigi Gomez. Who's born and raised in Aklan, I was able to express my uniquely beautiful roots by carrying and wearing the jewelries and clothing designed by Filipino artists and designers because I believe that they should be recognized on a national stage. Anyone who knows me knows that I am a very proud Boholana. It's a province where I found free diving, which is such an important part of me now. And I've been trying to showcase the best of Bohol as best as I can through my national costume, for example, which tried to showcase the beautiful underwater features that we have in the province. And I can only hope that every Boholano, through my journey, becomes even more proud of the beautiful home that we have in our province. Well, honestly, I wear my heritage and my sleeves, literally and figuratively. I came into this knowing that my roots are something that makes me unique and knowing that my heritage is something that I can be proud of. There is a local word that we often use at home and that is salig, which means believe. And that is one characteristic that a Cebuano really possesses. That is why Cebu has been that strength that I have been carrying with me all throughout this university. I was able to really showcase the beauty of my province to my co-candidates, but most especially, I was able to show them the rich culture, the heritage and the history that my province has to offer. I was able to show the universe that I am who I am because of Ilocos. I'm thankful with this Miss Universe journey because I was able to visit and discover the beauty of Laguna even more. There's so many ways to fall in love with Laguna and its people. With our artistry, through embroidery, through our, our shoes in Lilio, and of course, Sumba Lilio and Cavinti. I showed my uniquely beautiful roots through my tourism video. I had so much fun. I actually wrote and directed it because I wanted to show Lapu-Lapu through my eyes. And I was able to show the ocean, which is really where my roots are. I remember going to the ocean with my family as a child and picking up fish from my dad's aquarium. So, so I've got to be honest, I really didn't know that much about my city, Las Piñas, until I shot my tourism video. I didn't even know that there was a beach in Las Piñas. <laughs> well, and I was really amazed that there was more to Las Piñas than the bamboo organ. And this is something that I'm proud to share with the universe. The Sinahans are very known to be joyful people. And this is the aspect that I have brought as I joined here in the Miss Universe Philippines by giving joy and hope to my fellow candidates as we face challenges every day. While the people of San Juan are so kind, from the guards on the street to the people working in Green Hills Shopping Center, everybody has shown me so much love coming into this competition. And I believe that coming in here and just showing kindness and love to other people, I'm representing San Juan well.
You are still tuned into the coronation of Miss Universe Philippines 2022 live at the Mall of Asia Arena. Can we hear it, Mall of Asia Arena? From the national costumes to swimwear, from casual wears to long, beautiful, elegant gowns, these outfits definitely bring out the unique beauty of all our lovely candidates. A true testament of Filipino creativity, tonight we honor not just the unique beauties of Filipinas, but also the artistry, creativity, and the love for the art of the Filipinos. That empowers and showcases the authenticity of each of our queens. I am Shamsi Subsupli. From being an architect, a beauty queen, and now the National Director of Miss Universe Philippines Organization, I have witnessed the creative forces in all our local industries. It gave me a greater, deeper appreciation for each member of the creative industry. They've made beauty queens like me shine ever so brightly. But staging a beauty pageant is no easy task. Hindi ito magiging posible kung wala ang sama-samang pagsisikap ng lahat ng mga tao sa likod ng Miss Universe Philippines. Ito ang ating creative team. From our directors to our stage designers, photographers, videographers, makeup artists, and stylists, the world of pageantry is truly a platform that showcases the best of Filipino creativity and artistry. And the theme for this year's National Costume Show is Habi, because we believe that all the creative industries are all interwoven and interconnected together. to take this opportunity to thank all our fashion designers for the tremendous amount of creativity, talent, effort, time, and love they have poured into creating their masterpieces for all our queens. Our textile industry is an integral part of our rich history. It represents the stories and craftsmanship of different cultural communities throughout the archipelago. It is the fabric of our national identity. nominee ng Arte Partalist, umaasa ako na patuloy na isulong, perfectahan at pangalagaan ang mga hobby, tradisyon at sining na nagpapakita sa universe na tayo ay Pilipino. Tonight, as we celebrate the beauty of a Filipina, let us not forget to also celebrate the talents and creativity of all Filipinos. Mabuhay kayong mga malikay Pinoy! We will forever celebrate the creativity and artistry of all Filipinos. I myself am wearing a proudly Filipino design this evening. And at the same time, our uniquely beautiful ladies were given the free hand on how they want to be their ultimate for this round. Thanks to our official hair care sponsor, Cream Silk Total Keratin, with the triple keratin variants, our ladies were empowered to choose how they want to be their ultimate. Together with American Idol season 18 fin finalist, Francisco Martin, year are your Miss Universe Philippines top 16 in their evening gowns.
I know you know that you got your own bag. Yeah. Dress you up in rose gold. You pose for the photo of you with my eyes closed, and you know that I know you want me and know you. So tell me what you're trying to do. We can go back to LA, spend whatever on your bed. I'll do anything to make it stay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gown competition begins with Nueva Vizcaya. Achieving the ultimate version of oneself won't be easy, but by simply living with the values and the lessons learned through experiences, Jillian can be the best of anything she pursues, beat the odds, and be in her ultimate. The gig. Kat loves herself and accepts that she isn't perfect by not letting any noise distract her and taking charge over her life. That's when she unleashes the power to become ultimate. Cebu City. Chantal will achieve her ultimate by accepting herself in all her glory. She is a survivor, and she is now proud to show her battle scars, for they are a testament to her strength and her power. Atlan! Jana will achieve her ultimate by self-acceptance knowing you do not need anyone's opinion to validate you because you're the author of your own story. Makati! Michelle can achieve her ultimate self by always putting purpose in everything she does. She knows that as long as she radiates love and inspiration constantly, that's when she can really become the best version of herself. I'll buy. Julia believes that when you fight for things that go beyond yourself, you always rise to the occasion. And tonight, she will rise to her ultimate. Palawan. Achieving the ultimate version of Angelica begins by knowing that she is the best ally she can ever have. Iloilo Province. Vanessa knows the importance of listening to her heart. She unleashes the silent strength of the Filipino within her. That's how she becomes her ultimate. Baguio. Genesis will reach her ultimate when she starts fully embracing herself. She can only be her ultimate once she knows who she is. Cebu Province. Lou understands how it feels to be undermined 
But that never stopped her. She stays determined, dedicated, disciplined, and driven to achieve her ultimate. Misamis Oriental. Rather than seeking for light at the end of a tunnel, Annabelle realized she had an ember inside of her, waiting to catch fire, ready to blaze a trail for herself. That's when she unlocked her ultimate. Bohol. Pauline will achieve her ultimate by embracing every inch of the woman she is today. Every hardship and happiness has been part of her uniquely beautiful transformation, leading to her ultimate. Ilocos Sur. Jewel can reach her ultimate by persevering and remembering her humble beginnings. She stands tall and never backs down. That's when she is at her ultimate. Laguna. Sonia continues to embrace her fears until these lose their power and control. She will reach her ultimate self by starting with the decision to try. Pasai. Celeste is at her ultimate when she is vulnerable because she truly believes that showing and embracing her vulnerability makes her a stronger person. Ilo Ilo City! Dottie is the product of the life she has lived. To be ultimate is to be vulnerable, and she unraveled that in the best way possible. With American Idol Season 18 finalist, Francisco Martin, ladies and gentlemen, presenting your Miss Universe Philippines 2022 Top 16 in their evening gowns. They are accessorized with golden creations by Jill Omer, featuring the national gem of the Philippines, 
the Golden South Sea Pearl. They all look so stunning and have certainly made their fashion designers proud. But one of them stood out among the rest. Pia and Iris, right now we are all wearing evening gowns. How do you feel when you're wearing an evening gown? Whoa. It's the most elegant part of the competition. Yeah, it makes you feel agree. like a queen, right? Definitely. Yeah, I feel confident. Yeah, I right? feel good. I love, love it. Our regalness, right? Well, now we're ready to award the best in evening gown to a uniquely beautiful lady who really stood out. Take a step forward because you are this year's best in evening gown. Makati! Thank you once again to all the lovely candidates who achieved being ultimate wearing the glorious creation of Filipino fashion designers. The competition is getting more and more exciting because top 10 is up next, so keep on voting via the Lazada app. in lockdown, our young women had very limited physical activities, right? So maybe they've had to live through their period just managing it at home. But now that social interactions outside of the families, um, pursuing their passions outside of the home, um, or even um, going after their dreams outside of the home is becoming more prevalent and more common. I had my first period po nung grade 7 po ako. Siyempre po nung una, dahil first time ko, hindi ko po alam yung gagawin ko. Nung mga panganahan na po yun, nagpapanik po ako kasi wala po akong magkamit or idea kung ano yung dapat kong gawin. Every woman in this room either has, had, or will have a period. And let me tell you, we all got you. Don't let that stain stay in your mind. Don't lose your confidence because you were taught that it was wrong to talk about your health and about something which is a natural occurrence. Girls, we need to educate each other, especially to the ones who have had their first periods. We need to be their sisters, their elder friends, everything that possible they call us. To be by their side and emotionally support them to make them realize that you won't die because that is what I asked when I had my first period. I actually experience my period every time I join pageants. And I feel like it's, a, it's lucky for me whenever I have my period and it's the pageant day. But you know, it, I, it doesn't get in the way because I'm always prepared. Because when women support each other, incredible things beyond expectations happens. Just look at us right now. This is surreal, this is beautiful. We are here to support each other. We have to continuously talk about it and make all of the women and the young girls feel like it is really normal to talk about your period all the time. And whenever they feel the need to, to ask for a pad, it's normal to ask, not just to a fellow women, but also to men. When we continuously discuss and talk about menstrual health, you know, eventually it will be normal and a lot of girls will pass on the education that they learn from their elderly and you know it will be a huge change in general for the society and the community. So for us at Modest to just keep the conversation going so at Modest we provide the platforms because that's how we break the stigma. I hope that together with our partners at Miss Universe Philippines, the Department of Education, and the ABS-CBN Foundation that we can help inspire more teens and women with our stories to build new and healthier habits today and always. 
or to be hashtag next period ready. Ready. I am next period ready. I am next period ready. I am next period ready. Universe, good evening, Moa Arena. Hello. Good evening, everyone. Good evening to all of the pageant fans enjoying our amazing show here at the Miss Universe Philippines 2022. <gasps> Moa Magingay! Ayan! Tanarito yun! Oh my gosh! Thank you! Malang, nakaka-chika din namin kayo ngayon. Yes. It has been such a great night so far. Once again, congratulations to our best in evening gown, Miss Makati. Yes, and of course, we are still absolutely live here on Kumu. Ayan. Guys, did you notice Kanina? I, I got chills watching the performance of American Idol Season 18 finalist Francisco Martin. And we have him here backstage. Yes, we are going to get to talk to him right now. Hello. Welcome. Hi. You can Hi. stay right Please here. join us. Congratulations on that really fun performance. How are you? How is it being here in the Philippines and on the Miss Universe stage? I'm very well, thank you. Um, honestly, being on the Miss Philippines stage for the first time, being here for the first time, um, it's overwhelming, but exciting to say the least. Yeah. I have a question, Francisco. How does it feel to be performing in front of your kababayans? Um, honestly, grateful. I feel so grateful. The support that I've been getting from the Filipino community, coming here for the first time, nothing but exciting things to say to, to tell my family back home, you know, when I come back home. So, yeah, thank you very much. I, I know that you were born and raised in um, the U.S., but where are your parents from and what province in the Philippines? Uh, my dad is from Bayongmong, uh, Nueva Vizcaya. Nueva Vizcaya. Uh, my, my mom is from Iloco Sur. Loco Sur, so we actually have two pageants, uh, two candidates, candidates yeah. from your region, so that must be really fun and confusing. You don't know who you're gonna, you know, cheer for. I'm, I'm bipartisan, I'm just like, oh, bipartisan. everybody, I, I, I'm neutral. Neutral, I go in the for middle. everybody. <laughs> but you can sing Tagalog songs too, right? Conte, uh, Conte. Conte. Can we put you on the spot? Uh, Request some Paul uh, <laughs> uh, Do okay. it, yeah. do it. Yeah. Ikaw na lang naisabi Na ako'y mahal mo rin At sinabi mo Sing with me Ang pag-ibig mo hindi mababa mo I love it! Thank you so much! Thank you, that was amazing! Papakanta ako, I'm so sorry Francisco for like stealing your thunder but anyway it's been seven days since you arrived here in the yes. Philippines. So what did you learn about the Filipinos, Naman? Um, I learned a lot about the hospitality and just how everyone here is so welcoming. And uh, yeah, definitely something I don't get every day in the States. So welcome. Yeah. yeah, so thank you guys so <laughs> well, much. Welcome. And of course, after of doing your stint here, being on the Miss Universe Philippines stage, what is next for you? Where are you going to go? Um, hopefully, um, in the near future, I come back here. I've been having the best time here. Uh, when I get back to the States, we're going to do uh, possibly open for some more tours, uh, release more music, releasing an, an EP uh, July 22nd called Manic. Um, yeah, so. Uh, That's a lot of things coming up, and we're super excited for you. As you know, we Filipinos, we love supporting our kababayan, so we will be here to support Thank you for you very sure. Much. That is so true. And Kubuni Zens, meron ba kayong gustong sabihin kay Francisco? Go ahead and comment down below. There you go. That is our universe right there uh, on the chat box, and they're saying hi to you. <laughs> Say hi to. Hi, hi to you. <laughs> Hello. Hello. And this, is, this is live, absolutely live. Yes, and there are 113,000 people joining us right now. Amazing. And a lot of them are saying Ooh. hello. Karina says, I love you, Francisco. I love you too, Karina. Sabini Remy, 
Hello, anyone? Um, Kuya Dao. Hi, Kuya. Have you ever been called Kuya? Of course, yes. Yeah, yes. there we go. Kuya Francisco. <laughs> Ashley says, we love you. Love you, Ashley. Thank you. <laughs> so that is fun. And, and another comment says, Guapo from Karen. <laughs> so we've got Hello, some sign. people with a question <laughs> you in the chat as well. I <laughs> sabi daw, pamain po. Do you know what that means? Pamain po. Have you ever heard of the, the context? <laughs> so we have this thing on here in the Philippines, live selling. Yeah. And every time, like, something is being sold, people say, mine, mine. So people on the comments are saying, Francisco, mine. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm Basically, they got first dibs on yeah, you. First so dibs okay. We're just gonna wrap, know. we're gonna wrap <laughs> them up. <laughs> we're gonna wrap him up and send them over to you guys. Christina wanna mine, Jen. Jem says, hi, Francisco. Hello. hello. Very popular with the girls, I see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, is there anything else that you would want to promote to everyone watching right now? Um, I just want to thank you guys for having me. Uh, it's a pleasure. It's my pleasure. And I want to thank Jonas and uh, the front row team and Carlo and my team back in the States. Thank you guys for having me. Don't want to leave. I want to stay here. <laughs> I felt that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you so much. We thank really you. enjoyed your performances tonight. And thank you for taking the time to talk to us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank, right. you. thank you, guys. Thank you. It Bye. was so Bye. nice meeting you. Now I'd love to call in two of our sisters, I guess, in pageantry. Let's call in Miss Mandawe and Miss Davao del Norte. Hi. I really want to say hi to these oh, girls. Can I just say hi. you guys hi. look hi. amazing. Oh, Super looking amazing. Baby here? sisters, Nathan. You guys are gorgeous oh, and so gorgeous. Beautiful so, evening gowns. So, so proud of you both. You, How cool. are you both feeling right now? Um, I'm so happy because finally we are now in our coronation night. And even though we we didn't made it to the top 16, but those memories we had together with our sister is something that um hindi may replace ng kahit anuman. So ayon. I'm very grateful to be a part of Miss Universe Philippines, to be a part of the top 32. And I'm grateful for the growth and all the learnings that we got from this experience. And I'm really hoping and praying for the top 16. And I'm also very grateful for my fellow sisters, as well as you, Isabel. Thank you. <laughs> I have a question for you guys. Since, you know, this is all coming to an end, ano yung one lesson na babaunan yung even after the coronation night? I think something, um, I think one of the greatest lessons that I've learned in this journey is to always be grateful every day. I mean, not everyone has the, the blessing or the opportunity to be part of Miss Universe, especially the top 32. Grabe yung pinagdaanan namin from the challenges and something that um, I am so grateful to be here with you guys, um, with my sisters and ayun, Thank God always, and I would like to give a big shout out to my supporters, also my creative team. Thank you so, so much Sobrang for believing creative. in me. Sobrang Thank you. Creative. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. I think I would carry with me the strength that I got to learn to be strong in every situation and in every learning because we go through so many challenges but we get to learn so much from that and we also grow from that and we grow stronger. And I'm also grateful, shout out to the designer of my gown, Sir Mark Joseph Sai. That's something that I will bring with me from this journey. Thank you so much, girls. And I just have to say welcome to the sisterhood. You are here to stay Yay. and we want to support you all. But we want to know, what's your plan after this? And about ang plan natin? I think I'd focus on my education. I'd go back to school and then keep up with all of the lessons. And then I'll try to see after that what's going to happen. Are you about to eat some fast food the moment you get out of this place? <laughs> I will definitely eat pizza, yes. <laughs> Yes, that is a good plan. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've actually been away for two months um, sa aming island, sa Malapasco. So one thing that I will sh surely do first is to go out in the water, in the beach, and have some tuyom. It's my favorite. Oh. Have you tried tuyom, Ate Ayn? Tuyom? Yeah, have you heard about that? Tuyom with it's an M? Yeah. It's no, not yet. What oh, is it? It's your urchin. 
Ay, oh, hindi ko yes, pa na try. Yes. It's uni masarap. and Japanese, I think. Yes. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. Ah. Especially when it's fresh. I'm learning yeah, so much. With, uh, with suka na maanghang. Ooh. Super good. Okay, okay so, so we have tayo sa dito sa cool. <laughs> <lang>. yeah, everyone. <laughs> Thank you so much to both of you. Uh, We're so happy that we got to you. talk to you. Thank, thank you, thank you, folks. Thank, thank you, girls. You. We will definitely Super see you. Uh, see more of you for definitely. sure. Definitely. But for now, let's call in Quezon Province and Pangasinan. Hello, Hi. girls. Hi. Hi. Queens. Hi. Hi. Yes, queen. We are all Hi. queens right Hi. now. We are all queens. Hi. How are you? I, I always listen to your podcast. Thank yeah, you. Between us, queens. That's so sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. How, How are, are you? Because I met you here. We're happy that we got to meet you here. Yes. Thank you. Yes. How are you? How are you? I'm good. I enjoyed my whole journey here in the Miss Universe Philippines. Thank you so much to all the supporters, to all my kabaluyan, sa mga taga Pangasinan na nood, all the way from my province. Maraming maraming salamat po. Inararo ta kayo amin. What about you? Any message to your supporters? Well, I'm just very grateful that I've represented Quezon Province this year. I tried also last year, but I didn't make it. So I'm very grateful for all the love and support, especially to Kumu for partnering with Miss Universe because in this platform, we get to connect with our audience, with our supporters. And in that way, we, you know, we, we have someone to talk to about our journey and we have been closer than ever. So I'm so grateful. Yeah, I feel the sincerity <laughs> in that. I love it. Plus, your eyes are amazing. I keep looking into them. Oh, thank like, you. Really <laughs> <awesome. laughs> I was like, that's beautiful makeup right there. But what is your message to all of the supporters? My message to them is. Um, Thank you so much for all of the support you've given me. And I'm really grateful. And I hope that you're proud uh, that I've represented our province in uh, the best way possible that I can. I hope I make you all proud. I'm sure you did. Thank you so, so much, Ms. Kazon and Ms. Pangasinan. Thank you, ladies, for joining us here. And now we are going back to the main show. Ayan. So let's say goodbye to our ladies for now. Um, so for those of you who don't have have the Kumu app yet, download it now and join us in our hashtag MUPH Weekend Party. And see you guys on Kumu. See you. See you. We are back here at Miss Universe Philippines 2022 D Coronation. For the past few months, we've seen how these lovely and talented ladies have shown us their ultimate selves in each challenge and performance. Tonight is the culmination of their life-changing journey. Absolutely, Iris. We've seen through their performances, their self-confidence, self-esteem, and their real passion for making a difference in the world, making friendships, good sportsmanship, and showing the importance of being involved in the community and charity. Those are some of the significant life skills our ladies have unlocked during the course. For the final stretch of the competition, each of the girls ran through the swimsuit and evening gown competitions, showing how uniquely beautiful they are. Right now, Pia is ready to reveal the names of our top 10. Pia? Thank you, Demi and Iris. We would like to announce that the voting resumes once we reveal all the names of the top 10. From this group of women on stage, only 10 ladies will remain in the competition. The official results are now in, tabulated and verified by our official accounting firm, SGV and Company. You are all deserving of a crown, but there can only be one queen. Here we go. In no particular order, you are part of the top 10. Makati!
You may now take your spot. Pasay City! to the next round is Baguio City! So advancing is Tagig. goes to Misamis Oriental The next slot is for you. Cebu Province! There are Ten girls remaining, but only four names are on this list. You still have a chance for the crown. Bohol! You are one step closer to your dream. Cebu City! Two spots remain. Earning the ninth spot is... Albay! The last woman to advance in the top 10 is... Ilo Ilo Province! Gentlemen, your top ten.
one of them will be the new Miss Universe Philippines. Congratulations to our candidate who made it to the top 10. You are one step closer in bringing home the crown. To all the ladies who did not make it, we, your pageant sisters, are so proud of you and will continue to support you in whatever endeavors you choose. Sisters forever. Demi, do you still remember the feeling of being called as part of top 10? Oh my goodness, of course, Iris. I was actually called last. I remember. It was so nerve-wracking. I was cheering for you, Demi. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I can see that these lovely ladies here really enjoyed every moment because it really doesn't happen every day. How about you, Iris? What advice can you give to these ladies who just advanced to the top 10? Oh my God, just keep going. You are amazing. You can be proud of yourself tonight. So just enjoy every second of it. I can feel that the competition is just getting tougher and tougher as our uniquely beautiful ladies bring on their A-game. We can see that they are all doing their best tonight. So they will also appreciate all your support by voting for them through the Lazada app. Voting packages are also available for more chances of getting closer to the most coveted crown. You can change the life of one of these uniquely beautiful ladies in just a tap on your phone. Let me turn you over to Pia as we try to get to know our top 10 more. We are getting closer and closer to crowning to the crowning of the next Miss Universe Philippines tonight. But before we get to that, let's get to know more about our uniquely beautiful top 10. So let's have a little chit chat, starting off with Miss Makati. Hi. Miss Makati, what's the most extreme activity you've done in your life? Well, I think the most extreme activity I did in my life is go scuba diving with sharks. I do have a taste for adrenaline and anything that kind of fills that rush really excites me. I do love choosing fear. I mean, choosing bravery over fear because that's when you really are brave enough to conquer your fears and that's something that's so important for every individual. Very well said, Miss Makati. Thank you. Thank you so much. Next up, we have Miss Pasay. Beautiful, Miss Pasay. You grew up in both Italy and the Philippines. Yes. What would you say are your best Filipino and Italian traits? If there is something that I can say there is in common with Italian heritage and Filipino heritage, it's that we are strong women. And we always value family. Thank you. And we always value family. If there is something that my mom always taught me is be grateful for your family, for your loved ones and the people around you. Because when you're grateful and kind, people will be kind as well and grateful for you. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Next up, let's call in Miss Baggio. Glowing in gold, Miss Baggio. Thank you, good evening. You love to paint, right? Definitely. What's your favorite color in the rainbow? Oh, my favorite color is red. To tell you a story, red is something that signifies where I came from, where my hometown is. When I look at red, it's something that makes me powerful, makes me confident. That is why I know that with red, I am confident and beautiful with it. <laughs> Very well said. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ms. Baggio. Next up, let's call in Ms. Tagig. Mm. 
looking beautiful, Miss Tagi. Hi, Pia. I'd like to say good evening, Moa Arena, and good evening, Universe. <laughs> Mr. Gig, you already climbed eight mountains to date. What's your favorite so far? You know, one fun fact about this is I've climbed eight mountains with my eight-year boyfriend, and he's watching with us tonight. He is so supportive. And what mountain that I love? All eight mountains that I've climbed, because all of that is very memorable, because I'm with him. <laughs> Thank you so much. Wow, special mention. Thank you, Mr. Gig. Next up, let's talk to you, Miss Misa, Miss Oriental. Beautiful. Good evening, Pia, and good evening, Philippines. What do you prefer more, to be seen on TV or to be heard on radio? First and foremost, I'd prefer to be seen on TV because both, both audio and visual, we do learn so much from that. And given my experience as a radio host raising social political awareness amongst the youth, I think it's about time that I take it up to the next level with this platform, Miss Universe Philippines 2022. Thank you so much. I got goosebumps. Thank you. Thank you. Next up, let's call in Miss Cebu Province. Hello. Hi, Pia. What's the best feeling you get from riding a motorcycle? The adrenaline. Being a woman and the youngest among the family of four, people would always worry about me driving a motorcycle around town. But I believe it promotes bravery and it, it promotes that any woman can do whatever she sets her mind and heart into. Thank you. I think I'm gonna try that. Thank you. Next up, Miss Bohol. Hello. Hello, Miss Pia. You are a free diver. What's your best underwater discovery? It's the beauty of Bohol in a completely different angle. And I wish more and more people could get into free diving so that maybe I could tour them when they go to Bohol so we can discover more of the beauty that is very unique from a different perspective because there's really so much more to Bohol and the Philippines than meets the eye. I think I'm gonna try that. Thank you, Miss Bohol. Next up, Cebu City. Good evening, Pia. You look absolutely stunning. Good evening, and you too. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> What's the best takeaway that you have from teaching? I am a deeply anxious and shy person. So teaching has always been about me claiming power, claiming authority, and claiming my voice. And so when I, when I started teaching, I learned to become this confident and outspoken person. And I realized that my voice was to be heard, whether people wanted to hear it or not, because whether they like it or not, they're paying me to teach them, so they have to listen to my voice. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We wouldn't mind listening to your voice all day. Next up, Miss Albay. Stunning. Good evening, Pia. It's the most beautiful night in the universe. Miss Albay, what did you buy with the earnings that you had from selling candies at the age of 12? I would actually like to correct that. That wasn't my voiceover. But something that I'm really proud of is actually when I was 12, my dad had a heart attack on the plane and our financial situation changed entirely. 
They couldn't afford to send me to school, so I withdrew from school. But I knew that I believed. I knew that I deserved an education. I knew that I deserved a good future. And so you know what, Pia? I bet on myself, and I believed in myself. And from then, from 12 years old to 25, I financed my entire education on academic scholarships. And I graduated magna cum laude with honors. And, and with that story, I want to tell everyone here that you deserve it. You deserve an education. You deserve a future, and you can do it. Because if I believed in myself and I did it, then I know that you can too. Beautifully said, Miss Albay. Thank you so much. Next up, we have Iloilo Province. Miss Iloilo Province. Good evening, Miss Pia. Maayong gabi sa tanan. After finishing a marathon, what do you reward yourself with? I reward myself with rest. I look at life as a marathon, and although we have common goals to reach and want to achieve so many goals in life, it's so important for us to rest and rejuvenate so that we can prepare ourselves for our next achievement. Especially when we are powerful women on this stage, we have so much to thrive for. And as someone who is so happy to be a part of the top 10, so unexpected, I've known that through rest, I've been able to achieve this moment right now and at the same time, strive for more as a woman. Thank you. Rest is just as important. Thank you. Well, I had so much fun talking to you girls. Clearly, we've seen how unique each of you are. Mall of Asia Arena, your top 10. Let's get to know them even more. Please watch this. I'm Michelle Marquez D, and I represent the beautiful and tenacious city of Makati. When talking about having fun, anything that involves adrenaline or creativity will be at the top of my list. I love riding my motorcycle, staying active, traveling, and also channeling my creativity whenever I can. But many of you don't know that during the pandemic, I was able to work on different passions of my life as well. I actually finished a course at Harvard, and since then, I've been quietly working on an NFT-focused company which empowers Filipino artists. But more importantly, it will also put my autism and mental health advocacies on the forefront of technology. Everything I do has to have purpose, and that's why joining Miss Universe Philippines 2022 enables me to do that. I want to be able to inspire everyone to achieve their best selves through example that fear isn't an option not to achieve your goals. I know we all have something uniquely beautiful to showcase, and that's exactly what I'm trying to do this I came to the Philippines almost five years ago without knowing how to speak English and couldn't comprehend any Tagalog words either. Growing up in Italy, I considered myself exposed to two different cultures, not just in terms of cuisines and habits, but most importantly, in terms of values and attributes that I carry with me today. One of the best childhood memories that I have was spending time with my family, especially when my dad used to read us poems that he wrote himself for us. Having been able to immerse and embrace my Filipino heritage, I got to know about the situation of the indigenous people here in the Philippines who get displaced from their lands because of modernization and development. I'd like to champion their cause by putting a spotlight on their situation and their unique and rich cultural heritage that makes the Philippines the most beautiful and unique place in the world. Ako po si Celeste Rabimbi Cortesi, isang Filipina. And it would be my greatest honor to represent the Philippines. 
I am Genesis Latugat, 22, proud Igorota from Baguio City. I am an artist and art is my sweet escape. As someone who belongs to the indigenous peoples group, my heart lives and belongs to a place that holds our nation's history. Therefore, having a significant influence in promoting awareness and inclusion among my people will allow me to make a mark on our society. Growing up in a small community, dreaming big is a privilege, but with utmost diligence, I am now standing on one of the most prestigious stage I can step on, and I am more than ready a Miss Universe Philippines is someone who is a true representation of a Filipina with a uniquely beautiful journey. And that is exactly who I am. Hi, I'm Katrina Legado, 24 years old from my province, Dad, Taguig City. I was raised in a simple and loving household, the unika iha and bunso among four siblings. I love hiking. Whenever I reach the top, I feel accelerated that I conquered another peak. So far, I've already climbed eight mountains with my eight-year boyfriend. I'm passionate about helping people and getting involved with my community. During the pandemic, I was able to raise 200,000 pesos for 2,500 frontliners here in Taguig. I'm a fighter. I'm determined and focused once I have a goal. This journey is not just for myself but for my family, the gig, and everyone who's supporting me. I will make all of you proud. At 15 years old, I had to interpret the laws on my own to fight for my own rights. I may be poor with an empty stomach throughout the years, but I am proud to have starved to uphold my principles. People have tried to bury me, forgetting that I was a seed, ready to grow amidst adversity. I might not have had a conventional family, but many a mentor and friend became my family instead. Beyond selling bread in high school, cooking food in the morning, and running the street side barbecue stall at night, in pageantry, I was strutting to survive. I've been many things, a campus journalist championing the truth, a debater analyzing the ideas that shape society, and a beauty queen reaching out towards inclusivity, but a quitter has never been one of them. Miss Universe Philippines has always been a beacon, and I hope to be that to the next generation of girls whose dreams are bigger than their demons. I want to prove to the universe that our unique stories are truly worth telling. The underdog can come out on top. I am Adlao. This is Lou Dominic Tixon, 26, from Cebu Province. When I was younger, I have dreamed of becoming a doctor. But while fate had other plans for me, health is still a priority. And that is why I love being active. So much so that doing nothing in a day is almost weird to me. I think it's important to not just take care of your physical health, but also your mental health. Mental health awareness has shaped me so much as a person, especially considering where I was six years ago. Lonely, insecure, and depressed. While finding my true self, I had to rely on friends. And not just my peers, but also the sitcom. I'm such a Monica. Kung mapugos, magilis niya mo atong siyudad to catch up sad with my real friends. This is why I am a delegate of this year's Miss Universe Philippines. Let me be your reminder that life may be tough, but you can be tougher. Maajung adlaw kaninjung tanan, Pauline Amlings here again from the beautiful Bohol. I'm a freediver who also loves to draw. I translated that passion to purpose by sharing my drawings in an educational coloring book I created for kids. Many people came together to help share those coloring books, showing the power of collective efforts. This power has become even more evident in the Odette aftermath, where we teamed up our relief efforts to reach more people in need. The Balanon have shown we can rise up stronger when we do so together. Being on this journey, I realized we all have our own talents and we can all do meaningful things. Miss Universe Philippines 2022 is the avenue I have chosen 
not to find more meaning, but to amplify it, to become a better instrument who can inspire and bring together in action more people in her community. Chantal Elise Legaspi Schmidt, model, lawyer, teacher, student. Two sides to this very coin. I never realized just how strong I was until I survived depression and suicide attempts. God gave me the strength to climb any mountain, and so I did. And when I reached the top, I found the universe gazing down upon me, urging me to now use that strength to fight for those who cannot fight for themselves. Depression is a disease whose only antidote is awareness and education. Even the most powerful individuals are branded with invisible scars. And I will show to those little Chantals out there that I refuse to be tight-lipped about my mental struggles. Because the very reason I still walk this earth is because someone showed me that I was not alone. Because after all, aren't the most comforting words, me too? I'm a professional stuntwoman. A lot of people think that I've been doing martial arts classes since I was a kid. But I actually only took my first ever martial arts class four years ago. I honestly wasn't very good when I started. But with a lot of hard work and training, in just a year and a half, I booked my first paid job as a stuntwoman. I'm a very point and shoot type of person and believe that Anyone can learn and be good at anything, so long as they have the will and the passion to do so. Maayong Adlao, I'm Vanessa Caro, 25, from Iloilo Province. As a young girl, my parents used to call me the kid with never-ending energy. When I'm not dancing, running, or singing in the shower, you can find me at the beach or spending time with the animals. I come from a long line of Filipino advocates, which includes my late grandfather, who led the Filipino army against the war in the 1940s. One universal woman to another, we transform history to her story, enabling every woman to believe that she can be anything. For more than seven years and counting, I continue to lead women empowerment initiatives to break patterns and take the lead. I'm competing for the responsibility to empower the causes I hold dear to my heart. It is not just the crown that makes you a winner. It's what you stand for as a Pinay with a heart that truly matters. will take me the whole day to actually tell you what happened here in this universe Philippines with my sisters but I have created the bond with them that will last for a lifetime <laughs> My favorite memory is when we went all to vegan and even though we were so tired, we had the chance to bond together. It only shows that the bond that we have created is something that is life-changing, something that has really touched lives and especially touched mine. I would describe my relationship with my fellow sisters as sincere, joyful, and exciting.
There are so many memories that I cherish that I have created with my sisters. This journey is very special because this is something that I didn't expect all my life. Um, I'm happy to have great memories created uh, with my sisters. different personalities and I love it. We have a lot of jokesters, we have a lot of introverts and extroverts, but they're all uniquely beautiful in their own way and I'm gonna miss them and I'm sure they're gonna do great things in their next endeavors. You are still tuned in to the coronation night of Miss Universe Philippines 2022 live at the Mall of Asia Arena here in Pasay. With that, we would like to acknowledge the presence of Pasay City Mayor Emmy Calixto Robiano. Hello, thank you so much for gracing us with your presence tonight. Are we ready for the top five? Are we ready for the top five? Thank you very much. Nagpapa suspense mo na ako. And now. The voting continues after we reveal the names of the top five. Who among our top ten will make it to the final stretch of the competition? Filipinas, are you ready? We will be announcing our top five where the uniquely beautiful queens will arise. Tabulated and verified by our official accounting firm, SGV and Company, here are this year's top five. The first spot belongs to... Misamis Oriental! The next to advance to the final round is... Makati! Ooh, three spots left. You may now take yours. Tagig! <laughs> Only two spots remain, and there are seven names of women I haven't called. This is your lucky night. City! <laughs> the 
the last uniquely beautiful woman to clinch the final spot in the top five is... Bohol! Philippines, this is your top five. And one of them is going to be the new Miss Universe Philippines. Voting in the Lazada app is up again. This is your last chance to vote for your favorite candidate. The final question and answer happens right now. We have five envelopes here that contain different questions. For this round, you will be given 30 seconds to answer. And when you go beyond that, you will hear this sound. That sound. All right. This is your last chance to prove that you are deserving of the crown. So our judges will be listening closely to determine the winner in this batch. Please come forward. Misamis Oriental. Please um, pick an envelope. Miss Misamis Oriental, here is your question. What is your biggest insecurity and how do you address it? My socioeconomic status has been one of the biggest insecurities that I've had. Seven years ago, I was just a meager, marginalized orphan, starving and trying to make her way through. But now you see me, when you see me, think about how I've worked hard and studied even harder to be here and to aspire to conquer the universe. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Miss Misamis Oriental. Next up, we have Miss Makati. Ms. Makati, here's your question. What is your greatest fear and how do you try to overcome it? Honestly, my greatest fear is making a fool out of myself sometimes. But I conquer that by always putting myself in that kind of situations. Actually, just joining a pageant was something that I was very scared about because of the pressure. But I'm standing here in front of you hoping to be your next Miss Universe so that I can make my country proud once again. Ang minamahal kong Pilipinas. Thank you very much, Miss Makati. Next up, let's call in Mr. Geek. Good evening, everyone. I'd like to thank all my supporters, all the judges, 
Maraming maraming salamat. Mr. Gig, if you could teach Filipinos one thing, what would it be and why? It would be start loving yourself. Me, as a person, I have a lot of flaws. I am not perfect. And I may not be the perfect Miss Universe, but I am here trying to conquer my fear, trying to be a better person, and pageant really helped me to be a transformed woman, to be truly uniquely beautiful. And I think that is what I be having in Miss Universe. That is my greatest. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Tagig. Let's call on Miss Pasay. Miss Pasay. Miss Pasay, if you could stop time for a day, how would you spend it? If I could stop time, I would spend it with my family, especially my mother. It's been two years that I don't see my family because they live in Italy, and I came here in the Philippines just by myself. So if I had a chance to spend one day, I would definitely be with my mom, and I would just tell her how much I love her and I miss her. Thank you. I'm sure she's proud of you. Thank you, Miss Pasay. Next up, Miss Bohol. Well, we have one left, so <laughs> honor is yours. <laughs> Miss Bohol, what is that one life changing decision? that you've made, and what was its impact on your life? The life-changing decision I've made was to join Miss Universe Philippines again. <laughs> Despite being bashed before for my body, being doubted by people, I found strength in myself. And this story can be a testament for other people to draw strength from too, that a second chance can be as just as sweet and you can still achieve your ultimate a second time around. I can relate. Thank you, Ms. Bohol. Presenting this year's final five, and one of these five uniquely beautiful women will be our next queen. Presenting your top five, Miss Samis Oriental. Makati Tagig Bohol <laughs> 
the top five of Miss Universe Philippines 2022. You can still vote for your favorite to win the crown in the Lazada app. This is your last chance. Vote now! At Save the Children, your donation unfolds into life-changing stories. Um, dati po, yung anak ko ay masakitin po siya, payat. Nung dumating po yung Save the Children, yung pangangailangan po niya, lahat po binili po sa para sa kanya. Ang ipinapakain ko po kay baby, yung prutas, tsaka isda, kanin, karne, tsaka gulay. Halimbawa ko na lang kay Crystal kasi noon ang payat-payat talaga. Nakakaawa ang itsura, matamlay palagi. Pero ngayon na yan, nakakaaliw. Marami na siyang ginagawang mga nakakatuwa. Remedios and Ronalyn are just two out of a million lives changed by your kindness. And with your continued help, we can touch more hearts and fill more tummies together. Maraming salamat po kasi tinulungan niyo po ako Tsaka tinulungan niyo po yung bibi ko. Nagpapasalamat po ako sa laking tulong na ginagawa nila sa mga anak ko. When kindness unfolds, blessings come back a hundredfold. Maraming salamat po from Save the Children. Donate by scanning the code or by visiting savethechildren.org.ph Well, as an anxious shopaholic, <laughs> I didn't know how to answer it. That was so. hard. I bought a lot of things. <laughs> yes, actually, same. I was intrigued by that question, actually, because not many people ask me, what do you buy on Lazada, right? Yeah. But I think it's also one way for the brand to really get to know us better based on what we buy on Lazada. Um, I chose a motorcycle helmet. I am surrounded by my cousins, and they are almost all guys. So we love going on trails and we love motorcycle riding. Uh, for me, it symbolizes me in a way that I love protecting the people oh. that I care for. Well, I actually got the action camera during the pandemic. And it was oh. it's weird because during the pandemic is when I actually started going out more in Bohol <laughs> and going on adventures, okay. not just on land. As an only child, I share everything with my parents. But of oh, course, they so won't join me on all those adventures yeah. on land or underwater. So at least this way, I'll be able to show them the different adventures that I have and somehow still be able to share those memories with them. Yes, I picked a journal because during pandemic, um, of course, as everybody else, I was going through a very dark time. And through my friend, I discovered how meditation and journaling can really help you. I have to say, it really helped me a lot with my mental health and my stress and anxiety. Uh, mine was a yoga mat. 
So I started practicing yoga five years ago. I did it because I wanted to improve in my flexibility, but through yoga, I've actually learned so much more about myself mm -hmm. and my inner world. And I really come to it when I want to find quiet, and when I want to find centeredness, and when I want to find peace as well. I grew up in Germany because I'm half German. And my mom is an amazing chef, and she always made me the nicest lunches. Mm -hmm from different Asian cuisines, and I used to love them up until the kids in Germany started making fun of me for them and bullying me for them. Mm. And it got to a point where I said, I don't want any of that, I just want a plain old boring sandwich so nobody can make fun <laughs> of me for it. And now that I've kind of grown as a person, that I've learned to really cherish my heritage. Mm -hmm. And so as an aspiring cook and baker now, aspiring, I have sort of learned to um, package my little pockets of love, um, any food, any dishes that I cook or bake, and pack them into lunch boxes. And so, and I can't pinpoint one because <laughs> all of the things that I bought are my personal favorites. But I have to say, it would have to be my nightlight. No, yeah, because as a kid, I was always so scared of the dark. I was always so scared of what's in the dark. <laughs> and yeah, a nightlight would definitely help that. And I think that also encapsulates, you know, it's kind of like a metaphor in my journey here in this universe. It's kind of like, you know, it can be a source of light. Oh. The darkest of times. If Lighting I up the universe. Yes. <laughs> Do you have yeah. anything else you want to add to that? Or add to cars. <laughs> add to cars. Yes, indeed. Don't forget to add to cars. Find comfort. Find self-acceptance. Find mindfulness. Find inner peace. Find uniquely beautiful memories. Find adventure. Nasa Zadayan. <laughs> we blend. <laughs>
tayo takno asang sang itam at itiwagas mo nga payo nga takay kaya tam nga pakayo takto na to'y bayo Miss Universe Philippines You know that I'm do this first for the queens Alam nyo na walang papantay sa kanilang kagandahan Ito ang panalo ang kanilang kapalaran Let's go! Nobody will ever look at me the same way Gonna make it till it's up I'm sure they say Then I'm not going to mula pa na pinuko to sila Sumakta na lahat na nasakta na lamin Pinatay ang kanilang bayani Sa karagatan ng bansa na pag-aari Nang Pilipino Despite any turmoil I'll be proud of my soil Bakit? Kasi tayo'y Pilipino Kahit anong kulay ng balat isa sa puso Mapatagalog, Bisaya o Ilocano Walang tatalo sa pagsik ng ating dugo Isigaw ng malakas ang ating panalo Huwag nang pag-usapan ng mga negatibo Pangyayari sa mong panika na sa mundo Kinabukasan na natin to Magandang dilay, puso ko yung nabihag Wala nang ninanais, di gaya kang labis Magandang dilay, bawat lakan mo lahat sila napapatingin Di mawari, ba't kano nang nangyayari sa akin? Isang ngiti mo lang parang nakakabaleo Ano bang ginawa mo? Ako'y naaalil Di na tanaw, tanaw kita Para bang isang tala Sa gitna ng kalawakan Magandang dilag Puso ko'y yung nabihag Wala nang ninanais kaya kang labis, oh, magandang dilag Oh, magandang dilag Puso ko'y nahalina Wala nang inanais, biyaya ng langit Oh, magandang dilag Kahit napilitin pang biwas, iwas sa'yo Oh, paikot-ikot ka dito sa isipan ko Wala na nang iba, nag-iisa ka lang Nag-iisang between sa kalangitan ko Oh, tinatanaw-tanaw kita Para bang isang tala Sa gitna ng kalawakan Oh, magandang Puso ko'y yung nabihag Wala nang linandais Di kaya kang labis Oh, magandang dilag Oh, magandang dilag Puso ko'y nahalina Wala nang linandais Biyaya ng langit Oh, magandang dilag Paano sasabihin na paghangay lumalalim Parang bulal ako na uhulog tong damdamin Kahit na nang sabi ay nag-isang panalangin Sa tuwi na ay hiling na sana nga ay mapasak Di na tanatanaw ka, sana tinadhana di ba't hala para bang nalilingin na tala Anong hiwaga, masuyupan lang Natutulan lang sa gitna ng kalawakan Oh, magandang dilag Puso ko'y yung nabihag Wala nang ninanais Di kaya kang labis Oh, magandang dilag Oh, magandang dilag Puso ko'y nahalina Wala nang minan 
nais biyaya ng langit Oh, magandang dilag Wala nang ninanais Di kaya kang labis Oh, magandang dilag Miss Universe PH Let's go Hey Shorty, I've been feeling lonely Memories of 2019 On the beach and we vibing Cold ones on hand, we excited uh, Good trip, still a sobbing It's me, you in the horizon I've been talking about life and I'm locked in Great curl, soft skin and she glowing uh, And she don't want commitment But we be both down just to ride in the moment Craving for the one but you keep your distance She only be close when it comes to the limit I've been saying yes cause man she a 10 Icon votes in the same wavelength Everybody! The only thing I need is a shoddy real bad. Hey, hey! Oh, the what I'm taking down, my 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 what I'm taking Check my phone, young boy got a text 12am all alone, what's next? Find my keys and I hit the gas In an hour I'll be up for the task Hey, like a blast from the past I ain't confused but girl I'm attached This is not good, my heart's beating fast Will this thing we have really last? I don't know yet But I'm craving for you is it seven on earth, baby girl, I can look at you uh, I really wanna bag your boo Wine is best, enjoy with a glass for two Please tell me, baby, do you feel it too? It's a bye, so bye, so bye, what? Hey, When you don't pretend Oh, the what I'm taking down My heart and my heart Oh, the what I'm taking down My heart and my heart Oh, the what I'm taking down Pag-usapan muna natin ang iyong gabi Ikaw ang pahinga ko mahal Lumiliwanag aking ngiti kapag kausap na Kita pasensya lang kung babalik pa rin sa atin Kahit di mo ko hanapin, magpapalipin lang sa'yo Pinabawi mo ang uhaw ng aking puso sa big sa lalim Nang pagtingin mo para sa'kin Pag napansin mo na ako 
Papa na wa ko agad sa'yo And na isa lang Isa lang Ang hinahanap ko Hanap ko Ikaw raman Ikaw raman Kung papahagit na Napapasakit Good evening, everybody. If you know this song, sing with me. Para sa isa at isa ko Atin ang panahon If you know this song, come sing with me Siguro ngay wala nang natira sa Mga sinulat mo na para sa akin Alam kong luha ang bumupura Ngunit hayaan mo na lang Walang saysay ang panalangin ko Kundi ako ang hatapin mo Kahit sigaw pa ang pagsamo ko sa iyo Bakit di mo dama ito? Ba't ba ipahabaatala di? Naman Pang nahawagan Ba't ba Ipipilit Kung di naman Oh Tayo ang Para sa isa to define something that is only ours to give? Another generation of women take to this very stage tonight with the dream to elevate and represent our country. And even when your hands are shaking and your voice starts to break. Trust me, I know, I've been there too. Beautiful.
got today I'm gonna break it I'm gonna make it mine This voice inside Now you can hear it I know the choice is mine I got this fire burning inside You gonna see me shine the Moments away from finding out the new Miss Universe Philippines. Stay tuned.
It is now time to recognize the hard work and dedication of the Miss Universe Philippines 2021 Queens. Miss Universe Philippines 2021 second runner-up, Steffi Rose Abera Sturi. Miss Universe Philippines 2021 first runner-up, Maureen Robelwitz. Miss Universe Philippines 2021 Charity, Victoria Velasquez Vincent. They are your Miss Universe 2021 Queens, along with Miss Universe Philippines 2021 Tourism, Katrina Dimaranan. And now, our reigning Miss Universe Philippines Queen, Beatrice Luigi Gomez. course of my reign, I have grown not only as a queen, but as a person too. I have developed deeper empathy, learned how powerful women could be, and saw how we can bring about change when we use our voices together. It's been a uniquely beautiful and empowering journey. From the bottom of my heart, I thank every single one of you who have been with me in every step of this journey. I was phenomenal because of all of your love. Daghan salamat to Origin Management, Aces and Queens, and the entire Miss Universe Philippines organization, headed by Mama J and our National Director, Ms. Shamsi Subsupli. And to the people who saw the potential in me since Bini Bining Cebu, Sir Voltaire and Mama Mikey. Lastly, I wouldn't have made it here without the support of my Mama Ping, my Ate Luis, Sir Jesse, Dom, Maui, and Mama La, the Bay of East, my brothers and sisters in the Philippine Navy. I will continue to move forward and create a positive change with the values that you've instilled in me. I am passing on the legacy of Miss Universe Philippines as a stronger Filipina ready to continue everything I have started. Maraming salamat po sa suporta at tiwala. I will always be your unbothered queen, with or without a crown. Giauhag ko ang matag-usa ka ninyo nga mupadayon sa pagkabot sa inyong pangandoy kay matag-usa ka nato adunay nagkadaiyang kaanyag. I am empowering each and every one of you to pursue your dreams because each one of us is uniquely beautiful.
Ladies, after months of sacrifices, trainings and hard work, we have finally reached this point. A new queen will be crowned. The results are tabulated and verified by our official accounting firm, SGV and company. May the uniquely beautiful woman win. Here we go. Miss Universe Philippines, second runner-up is... Tagig! Maria Katrina Legado. Miss Universe Philippines first runner up is She is Miss Misamis Oriental Annabelle McDonald And Miss Universe Philippines Charity is Bohol! Pauline Amelix! This is the moment of truth! Only one of you will be crowned! The Miss Universe Philippines will be crowned with the La Mer en Majesté crown from Jalomer, adorned in golden south sepals, evoking the glory of a national treasure. A very beautiful crown indeed. Here we go. The first name I will be calling is our new Miss Universe Philippines. The new Miss Universe Philippines 2022 is... Pasay City! Celeste Cortesi! That means Miss Makati Michelle D is our Miss Universe Philippine Tourism. Universe Philippines!
congratulations to all the new queens. You are all uniquely beautiful. This has been Demi Lee Thibault. Thank you. This is Iris Mitana. Thank you and congratulations, Miss Universe Philippines Organization. Salamat. And this is Pia Wurzbach. Mabuhay ang gandang Pilipina. Mabuhay ang Pilipinas.